from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Rafael Sanchez and these are your latest headlines. One man is dead, four others are injured following a pair of shootings in Anderson on Sunday in Madison County. Officers found two people shot in the area of 16th Street and Madison Avenue just after midnight. Then around 3 in the morning, officers responded to the same area on another report of gunshots. And when they arrived on the scene, they found three more people with gunshot wounds one man later died from his injuries. His identity has not been released. State health officials say they're investigating the first probable case of monkeypox in Indiana. There's no further information about the patient due to privacy rules, but we're told that that person remains isolated. Monkeypox, by the way, is mostly spread through sexual contact. Dozens of people facing eviction from a Westside hotel will now be getting help from the city of Indianapolis. The Office of Public Health and Safety will be connecting those impacted now with rental assistance. On Thursday, we told you about the owners of the OEO Hotel near the airport turned off their utilities and then told those folks to pack up and move out. So many of them had no place to go, so city officials now telling us a 30-day eviction notice must be given before kicking anyone out. And records show that the company called Yas Investment LLC owns that hotel. Time now to check your forecast with Kyle Mounts. Hey, Kyle. And Raphael, those temperatures, they're going to start to climb here once again after a beautiful weekend. Highs today, upper 80s to around 90, but the humidity remaining in check, not too much of a factor. If you're heading out there this evening, you've got some plans. A little warm here at 8 o'clock still. We're at 85 there. We'll get down into the 70s, though, by 10 o'clock this evening and a lot of that sunshine until it sets at 916. More heat for Tuesday, Wednesday, highs in the 90s, chance for a couple of storms midweek. For more weather and stories that you need to know, please download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.